Uh, my name is uh, Carl Davis. I'm better known as Rashu Atten. And I uh, have an occasion, I'm a certified medium, and I had an occasion to uh, have a direct voice communication from those that work with me. I'm also a clairvoyant counselor. But my main concern and motivation and movement forward has to do with sound healing. Now, and I want to tell the story of how I came to receive this instrument that was created to heal by vibration and sound. First, it starts off with me in a direct voice communication from those that work with me. And I was told to go to China to recapture some energy. They didn't know where I was going or what I would be doing there. But they said I had to go to fulfill my purpose and my mission for being in the earth, to recapture some energies and learn how to channel the energies through my body into an expression of spiritual healing. And this I did. So, I, not to worry about how much it will cost. I was not going for tourist activities. And then in September of 1991, it was when this was all going on. You could not go to China as an individual. They asked me to go as an individual by myself to learn these things. I just didn't know it could be possible to do. But I set out on this purposeful mission to have this happen. So when that happened, I went to three different travel agents and each one told me it could not be done. I had to go with a tour. And as it was, I didn't know where I was going anyway, but they would tell me later, I was told. So I found one, the very last one who knew of a person in New York City who had just come back from China and he was a Chinese person for East Travels. I made contact with him and he told me he could do it. And he also told me where I would be going. And he had just come back from there and found it was the Shaolin Temple in Hunan Province, deep in the heart, the Northern Temple, part of China. So we set about setting it up. He gave me all the information I needed and sent me the bill for $3,000. And then, that was in December of 91, it took three or four months for that to happen. But I still didn't have the money and didn't know where it was coming from. Those that work with me, my teachers, guides, and loved ones in spirit on the other side in heaven said it would work. So I had faith that it would. In January of 1992, my great aunt, my grandmother's sister, passed away and left me $3,100. And there I had the money. We had set the uh, trip for June 1992. So I had the money, the willingness to go, and I went. While I was there, studying on one of the mountains, uh, doing some of the Qigong that I learned in Tai Chi, on a big rock halfway up this mountain and was in this valley surrounded by three mountains. So I climbed the first one on my own. They told me where the path was and I went around all the fields and through the forest, up the rocks, and then found this big huge boulder that seemed perfect. It was like three-fourths of the way up the mountain. And I stood on it and did some of the Qigong movements that I learned from some of the monks there as they were teaching me. I stayed a month. As I came out of the first movement, which you have your eyes closed and you're doing breathing, deep breathing meditations, moving meditations, there was this monk that was there, an ancient one. He appeared. He was not of this earth. He said that he had not been on earth in 6,000 years and he wanted me to create this instrument that heals by vibration and sound. And he said he would teach me how to play it if I could do it. And it would be made out of gongs. 
Well, I'd never heard of such. I didn't know anything about gongs. Then I'd seen one and played one uh, 21 years before, 22 years before that, when I was in the, uh, the Black Artist Group in St. Louis and played with the big band there. Uh, and there was a, a fella that had some gongs, so I had played one before. But I had never heard of an instrument made out of gongs. Most people have just one. He said it would be in the piano keys, um, a, a scale from A, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, and A sharp. And I didn't know if it, an instrument like that could even be created. I just surely didn't have the words at all and the ability to do it then. But I kept this in mind and on the way back through Shanghai, I did stop off and bought one gong, a big A gong. I didn't know what frequency it was at the time or, or note it was at the time, but I brought it back and started to learn how to play just that one. And that was good enough, but four years later in December of 96, I went back just to buy this gong and find out where this big gong was made, Went found out where it was it was made in the factory, went to the factory, talked to the master in charge, and uh, he said he could do it, come back in three hours. And I did, and all the gongs were laid out, and especially, specifically just as I had said, I needed them to be in, you know, music is a universal language. All I had to do was put the notes down on a piece of paper, and he understood instantly what I was looking for. I was overjoyed because he could do it. Mr. Wu was his name. Well, came and brought them back, and then the problem came in of trying to learn how to play them. So many. And I just played over and over and over, and Spirit stepped in and instructed me. And he said that this instrument was the key to all physical and spiritual healing in the earth. And it, it healed at the at the cellular level. And I started doing research because I didn't know that anybody else played gongs. I'd never heard of such. But I had to build a stand and found out how I could build it out of galvanized pipe at first. And now I have a gong stand that's made. But I put that stand together, started learning how to play, started doing concerts, and became what I consider to be a master. Because each gong in itself can create symphonic uh, music and, and all of them in scale and different frequencies and different harmonious uh, eighths, thirds, uh, vibrational music can allow different frequencies to overlap and harmonize to the point that expands your consciousness. It relaxes, heals, harmonizes your energy puts you in a state of ex exhilarating, expanded peace, harmony, love flows through. A lot of people play them in yoga classes, for massage healing, just to listen to the vibrations. I call it music, but a lot of people say, that's not music, that's just vibrations and sound. But when they listen and they find out how it makes them feel, they become believers. There are many stories, but after every concert, I always ask for feedback. And what kind of feedback would I get when I ask, well, how does this make you feel? Or what did you see? People have seen visions, seen colors. Some pass out and go to sleep after bring them back. Some say they go on journeys through spiritual realms. Some say they're healed. Tumors, Parkinson's disease, were well, just some of the feedback that I have gotten from people that have experienced, and I call it an experience. You can listen to the CD if you turn the volume fully up and, and let the vibrational tones pass over you, but it's always much better when you feel these vibrations in person. So with that being said, hopefully you will Buy and listen to my CDs.
giving you a little bit of a background into what this is all about so you can experience it for yourself. And please tell your friends what you have felt, seen, and heard. Sound healing through vibration, through vibration and sound.